Wensleydale is a style of cheese originally produced in Wensleydale, North Yorkshire, England, but now mostly made in large commercial creameries throughout the UK. The term, Yorkshire Wensleydale, can only be used for cheese that is made in Wensleydale. Flavor and texture Wensleydale is a cheddar-like cheese with a supple, crumbly, moist texture and resembles a young carfilly. The flavor suggests wild honey balanced with fresh acidity. History Wensleydale cheese was first made by French Cistercian monks from the Roquefort region, who had settled in Wensleydale. They built a monastery at Furs, but some years later the monks moved to Gervaux in Lower Wensleydale. They brought with them a recipe for making cheese from sheep's milk. During the 14th century cow's milk began to be used instead, and the character of the cheese began to change. A little used milk was still mixed in since it gave a more open texture, and allowed the development of the blue mold. At that time, Wensleydale was almost always blue with the white variety almost unknown. Nowadays, the opposite is true, with blue Wensleydale rarely seen. When the monastery was dissolved in 1540, the local farmers continued making the cheese until the Second World War, during which most milk in the country was used for the making of government cheddar. Even after rationing ceased in 1954, cheese making did not return to pre-war levels. Topic: <inaudible> Wensleydale Creamery. Wensleydale Creamery in the town of Hawes has been hand making cheese for more than 100 years. In May 1992, Dairy Crest, a subsidiary of the Milk Marketing Board, closed the Hawes Creamery with the loss of 59 jobs. Dairy Crest transferred production of Wensleydale cheese to Yorkshire's traditional rival, Lancashire. Six months later, in November 1992, following many rescue offers, a management buyout took place, led by local businessman John Gibson and the management team. With the help of 11 members of the former workforce, cheese making recommenced in Wensleydale. Wensleydale Dairy Products sought to protect the name Yorkshire Wensleydale under an EU regulation. PGI status was awarded in 2013. After 2015 The business moved to its current location in Haas in 2015 and still handcrafts the eponymous cheese with a staff of 230. In 2017, the company made a £5 million investment in its dairy and cheese making facilities. In the financial year ending March 2017, the company sold 4,664 tons of cheese. The company estimated revenues of £27.5 million and pre-tax profits of around £1 million in their financial year ending in March 2018. Exports make up about 15% of the revenues and visits by tourists another 10%. The creamery has become a tourist attraction, visited by up to 300,000 people each year. In January 2018, the company appointed David Salkild as its new chairman, replacing Matthew Gribbin, who was with the creamery for 10 years. Wensleydale Creamery has won many prestigious cheese awards, including Supreme Champion in 2018 for its New Yorkshire cheddar at the Great Yorkshire Show's Cheese and Dairy Show. Yorkshire Wensleydale took the Reserve Supreme Cheese title. The company also received 10 gold, 4 silver, and 4 bronze awards and 4 best of category trophies. In 2017, the creamery had won 22 awards. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Current products. The main categories of cheese produced by the Wensleydale Creamery include Yorkshire cheddar, Yorkshire Wensleydale, blended cheese, waxed truckles, blue cheese, traditional English Kit Calvert style. Smoked cheese, sheep's milk cheese. Real Yorkshire Wensleydale is usually shaped in a variety of weight molds ranging in size from a small flat disc known as a truckle that is highly pressed and preserved in wax to several larger cheeses. It is a mild cheese with an acidic, honeyed flavor. Mature Wensleydale is a harder, more highly flavored version of the real Yorkshire Wensleydale. Extra mature Wensleydale is the strongest Wensleydale cheese, matured for nine months. 
Blue Wensleydale has blue veins and is produced in range of sizes. It is highly flavoured but less salty than the classic British Blue Stilton. Oak smoked Wensleydale is cold smoked to produce a cheese with a special tang and texture. Cold smoking typically involves lower temperatures in the smoking process. Winter warmer is Wensleydale with mulled wine, cranberries and festive spices for the winter holidays. Common flavor combinations The flavor of Wensleydale is suited to combination with sweeter produce, such as fruit. A popular combination available in many restaurants and delicatessens is Wensleydale containing cranberries. In Yorkshire, apple pie may be accompanied by white Wensleydale, giving rise to the saying, an apple pie without the cheese is like a kiss without the squeeze. In Yorkshire and North East England, it is often eaten with fruit cake or Christmas cake. References in culture In his essay, In Defense of English Cooking, George Orwell rates Wensleydale as second only to Stilton among British cheese varieties. In the popular 1962 novel, Hornblower and the Hotspur, set in 1803, the title character makes an epic making discovery that Wensleydale cheese and port were a pair of heavenly twins. Ch. 9. Wensleydale was one of the cheeses named by John Cleese in the Monty Python sketch, The Cheese Shop, which originally appeared in a 1972 episode of Monty Python's Flying Circus. In addition, the shop owner, played by Michael Palin, was named Henry Wensleydale, which caused some confusion between the two when the cheese was mentioned. Cleese later voiced the Wensleydale representative in the Cheese Roll Call, sung by Pinky in the cartoon Pinky and the Brain. In the 1990s, sales of Wensleydale cheese had fallen so low that production in the last dairy in Wensleydale itself was at risk of being suspended. However, the popular Wallace and Gromit animated shorts A Grand Day Out, The Wrong Trousers, and A Close Shave had the main character Wallace, a cheese connoisseur, mention Wensleydale as a particularly favorite cheese. Animator Nick Park chose it solely because it had a good name that would be interesting to animate rather than due to its origins in northern England where the shorts were set. He was also unaware of the financial difficulties that the company was experiencing. The company contacted Ardman Animations about a license for a special brand of Wallace and Gromit Wensleydale, which proved to be an enormous success. When the 2005 full-length Wallace and Gromit film, Curse of the Were Rabbit, was released, sales of Wensleydale cheeses increased by 23%. Topic. See also. List of cheeses List of British cheeses